Welcome back students, Mr. McCoy here. Today is a short and easy lesson on the subject of typecasting. So what is typecasting? It is the conversion of one type of data into another. So uh, here's an illustration to help get the point across. Casting a spell to transform something. So uh, this wizard has transformed some unlucky fellow into Pepe. So a less stupid way of explaining this. Uh, casting refers to the process of temporarily converting one type of data into another. So take a look at uh, some coding examples here and the errors that they would throw. If you tried to store 4.5 into an integer, you got an error. Well, it's easy to, to just not do something stupid like that, but what if you wanted to add 3 onto the square root of a number and store it into an integer? I mean, maybe that's something that you would actually want to do, but what happens whenever you take the square root of a number? It gives you a double. That's what the square root function does. It returns a double, so even you know, the square root of 37 is actually 6 point something, but even if you took the square root of 36, we know the square root of 36 is 6, right? But this is going to return 6.0. So 6.0 plus 3 would give you uh, 9.0, and 9.0, you're trying to store that into an integer. Well, 9.0 is a, is a double, so you would have a problem. So a way that you can fix that is to use casting. You can cast one piece of data to temporarily act like another type of data. For example, if you want to divide 19 by 5. 19 is an integer and 5 is an integer. What happens when you divide an integer by an integer? You get an integer result, but you don't want an integer result. You want a double. You want to actually have high precision in this. So what you could do is there's some ways to fix it. Probably what you've done so far is to do 19.0 and that would mean you now have a double divided by an integer and that'll give you the answer of a double. But you don't always have the convenience of being able to add the point zero onto a number. What if these were actually integer variables? Well, What you can do then is here's how you cast. You say double in parentheses Whenever you put the data type in parentheses, what that means is I want the next piece of data to temporarily behave like a double. So when I say double 19, it will treat 19 as a double. Basically, it treats 19 as 19.0 and then does a double divided by an integer, which will give you a high precision answer. You'll actually get that 3.8. Otherwise, it would have just been 3.0 because 19 divided by 5 would just round down to a 3. So the basic syntax for casting is in parentheses you list what type you want it to be and then after that you put a variable or a number or an expression or something like that and what it does is it treats that information as this type just temporarily. Now it doesn't actually convert it long term, it just treats it temporarily in that single line of code. For example, if you look back here, 19 gets treated like a double, but we both know that 19 is still just an integer. We just treat it temporarily like a double. Here's an example, double 3, it's going to treat that like 3.0. Int 56.7, it's going to treat that like 56. Here's the one we already looked at, 19 divided by 5, if we want to get the double result of that, well let's treat this 19 like a double before we do this division and then rather than integer division it'll do real division. So in result we have 3.8 and if we say cast that as an int then that 3.8 cast as an int would be just a 3 so what are we storing in result to? We would be storing a 3 but since that's a double, it actually would print out as 3.0. So what's inside of result 2? 3.0. So if, if result 3 is an integer, 
then let's do uh, math.pal 10 to the th uh, 10 cubed 10 to the third power well math.pal returns a double so how do we store this double into an integer result well let's temporarily cast it as an integer so math.pal actually returns 1000.0 we treat that 1000.0 as an integer and it gives us 1000 we can store that 1000 into result 3 so casting has a very high precedence so whenever you use it in formulas uh, or expressions it's typically going to occur first so if I say double 1 plus 1 divided by 2 it actually just casts this 1 as a double as you can see with the highlight or as you can see with what's bolded the 1 gets cast as a double and then it does this other stuff probably not what we wanted if we do 1 plus and we cast this 1 as the double then we actually get real division to occur because now we have a double divided by an integer which will give us a double if you want the math part to occur first you could do like this put the uh, 1 2 and 3 this addition in parentheses and it'll do that before it does this casting so it'll cast the result of this entire thing so that's about it for the notes let's uh, open up BlueJay and look at some examples okay before I take a look at lab 18 let me show you some examples um, int num equals 4.5 does that work? no so here's the error message you're gonna see whenever you do stuff like that possible lossy conversion from double to int so 4.5 is a double and it's warning us that we're trying to convert a double and put it into an int and we're gonna lose some precision so in order to let Java know that that's actually what we want to do we can do this casting let's cast 4.5 as an int before we put it into double and now it's fine let's make another variable let's call it double call it dnum for uh, for double number and let's make that equal to 4.5 okay and then I want num to be equal to an integer casting of dnum or let me take this int out and you can see what happens just like before if dnum is 4.5 we can't store that 4.5 into num right so let's cast it as an int and now we're okay it can cast dnum as an int and store that in here now let's do some print statements and see what's actually inside of these variables if I print dnum and then let's also print num what do you expect to find this is what I wanted to make sure everyone understood so dnum is equal to 4.5 and there's the 4.5 that printed so even though right here we did this typecasting we said we want to cast dnum as an integer it didn't actually change what's stored in dnum it just temporarily treated that 4.5 like a 4 so we could store that in num but then even down here dnum still retains that value of 4.5 it doesn't actually trim off the 0.5 it only trims it temporarily during this line dnum remains unchanged so don't think that casting here actually changes this value it just treats it like an integer just for a moment okay let me get rid of this junk and let's do a couple problems from the lab set problem one says get the value of two double variables x and y from the keyboard and write the code to evaluate the following expression and print the answer as an int using casting so we're gonna need to uh, to change our answer over to an integer somehow through casting so we need to have a uh, prompt enter a double for x and we need to get that double x equals console.next what type double and then we need to get a y value also just do some copy paste enter a double for y and we'll store that into y okay then we need to do this formula pi times x to the sixth minus y to the sixth 
So let's go ahead and, and get that answer, um, and we're going to print the answer as an int. But the answer to this is actually going to be uh, a double, right? If I did answer equals math.py times some stuff, whatever it gives me is going to be a double. So why don't I make answer be a double? So it's pi times some stuff. What is the stuff? We got parentheses, then we've got math.pow x to the sixth power, and we want to subtract math.pow y to the sixth power. Um, are my parentheses right? So if I hover over here, I can see that parenthesis closes that parenthesis. This parenthesis right here doesn't have a close, so I missed one. So that one is paired up with that, and then we're out of parentheses. That's good. Now I need to print something system dot out dot. I'm just going to print uh, a label using formula in problem one. The answer is about. And then let's do a second print statement. The only reason I'm breaking I'm breaking this down into two print statements is just because uh, we don't have a lot of screen space. Print line. Okay, so what am I going to print? I'm supposed to print the answer as an int using casting. So if I just printed answer, what do we get? Um, let's do 2.2 and 1.5. So clearly we have a double but we want to print the uh, answer as an int, so I'm just going to cast it temporarily as an int. It's okay that that's occurring inside of a print statement. So you'll see it, uh, it trims off any decimal stuff. I know I use different numbers this time. Um, the value still stored in answer would be the full high precision double but we're just temporarily printing the integer version. Then label my problem, that's problem one. And then after that is printed, I'm going to want to print uh, some blank spaces. And let's do problem two also. Get the value of a double variable r from the keyboard and write the code to evaluate the following expression and use casting to ensure real division occurs. So this is that uh, formula for the volume of a sphere that we saw in lab 17 and we're going to uh, we're going to do some casting instead of the way we handled it in, uh, in lab 17. So we need to enter a double r copy paste, enter a double for R. That's all the information we need, right? So answer is going to be equal to 4 divided by 3 times pi times and it's radius cubed. So math.pow radius to the third power and then we need to print that out. I'm going to borrow these output statements. Using the formula in problem two, the answer is, and let's not say about because we're going to say uh, high precision this time, it's supposed to uh, include the decimals. So what happens whenever we print answer now? Compile. Okay, so enter a double for R. I'm going to do 3.3 .3, and I get this as my answer. Now that's not the correct answer and you might have run into this problem in uh, lab 17 that what's 4 divided by 3? Well, 4 is an integer and 3 is an integer, so an integer divided by an integer gives you an integer answer. So even though 4 divided by 3 is actually 1.33333, 4 divided by 3 in Java will give us 1. And we don't want 1. We want this to be done using uh, real division, not integer division. So the way you probably solved that in lab 17 is to do that, but here we're instructed to use casting. So I'm going to make sure that that 4 is cast as a double before this division occurs. And then let's see what happens. So whenever we put in 3.3 .3 before, 
we got 112. What do we get this time? So before we got 112, now we get 150, which is the correct answer. All right, so that should be enough to uh, uh, get you moving on this set of labs. I hope you enjoy all the mathy goodness. Enjoying my class? Smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitface. But hey, that's just a tutorial. A computer science tutorial. Thanks for watching.